What's up everybody, Alex here, and welcome to Dota Underlords. We are playing some standard ranked in Season 1, and uh, we're taking this starting lineup here. We'll see how it does. We'll hold on to Weaver as well. I almost want to buy Arc Warden, but uh, we won't. Is this a Hunter game? Feels like a Hunter game. I had a few different ideas of what I wanted to get into here. Uh, I've been testing like a whole bunch of like wacky strategies, and... Um, I got a few ideas. I got a few interesting ideas. Uh, some are better than others. <laughs> but it's all in the uh, the spirit of having fun. Uh, we're going to take an L here, but that's okay. Hopefully we take out the Shadow Demon. That'd be great. Come on, take down Shadow Demon. Yes. You know what? That's a one damage loss. That is absolute money. Absolute money. I'll take it all day long. Alright. I almost want to buy that Arc Warden, but I won't. I won't. Voidstone, eh? Take haste. Okay. So, I almost took that Claymore, but I was thinking in my head, you know, I'd really rather have Gloves of Haste. And it happened! Thank you. Okay, Tusk, you're gone. Thank you very much. You're gone as well. That's a pretty good lineup. Not what we're after. Okay, here we go. Here we go. Is today a Hunter Heartless kind of game? Is that what we're playing today? Well, we'll see. We will see what RNG has planned for us. Now, one thing I should mention, uh, as we hopefully lose this, because I, it's funny, like, I want to open 4, but at the same time I don't, because it's totally uninteractive. Oh my, look at this. Are you kidding me? We could have, like, love-tapped any one of those guys and taken them down. One thing I should mention is I have now started streaming on Twitch TV. Uh, link in the description below. Uh, basically, it's been an often common requested uh, thing that I do. Um, I had not been streaming very frequently, and now I'm going to be uh, picking up a little bit here and there. Be a little more regular than I have been uh, for the time being. So uh, if you're interested in uh, checking me out live, uh, link in the description below. Uh, follow, that'd be absolutely appreciated and fantastic. It's simply Twitch TV uh, slash Alexander Kocha, and uh, I'll be there. I'll be there, and we'll be streaming, so make sure just to turn on the notifications as well. Um, that's not like a, hey, turn on notifications type thing. That is quite literally because, you know, the uh, the schedule is going to be a little... Uh, I'm, I'm working on the schedule, okay? So, um, it's important that you kind of have a, uh, a plan, and you know when I just might be out, out there. So, that's why I say that. But I do appreciate everyone's enthusiasm, and uh, I did my first stream yesterday, and uh, it went really well. I got a lot of support, and I, you know what, you guys are the best. I keep saying how much I appreciate this community. Like, you guys have no idea how, like, the small things you guys do. Like, you know, uh, just, like, liking videos. You guys like my videos, and, like, just recently, I've been getting a few videos even approaching 100 likes. And, like, you guys have no idea how much that actually helps. Like, YouTube sees that, and it's like, oh, people like Alex. Maybe we will share his video more. Or, you know, like, it really has a very legitimate impact on, you know, my ability to reach new audiences. So I honestly, I'm saying it from the bottom of my heart. I do appreciate it so much. Thank you. Um, I could not ask, I could not ask for, uh, for a better, uh, better audience. And that's true and dear to my heart. So yeah, we're going to be streaming on Twitch every once in a while. Going to be streaming some Dota Underlords, of course. Some uh, Artifact 2.0 beta, which I am in. And uh, we'll be streaming some uh, Dota 2 every once in a while as well. Uh, simply because uh, it's funny... I juggle this, but uh, Dota 2 has totally... I'm, I'm back in it, and it's funny because, uh, you know, like, Dota Underlords just dragged me back into the Dota universe. And uh, so, yeah, I'm playing all three games now. I'm playing, like, literally my day is playing Underlords, playing Artifact, and playing Dota 2. <laughs> it's quite a good day. It's quite a good day. Anyways, let's see what we're going to do here. I'm going to actually switch this up here. But yes, um, so check that out. Okay. Contention's pretty good right now. Like, I'm not too concerned right now. No one's really picking up the units we are. We gotta take Deso here. Deso's an auto pick in that situation. With Vigilance, you gotta go, you gotta go Deso. Now, do I try and force six Hunters? I think Heartless is important. Heartless is important in this build. I kind of want the, I kind of want the board strength here, so I might take this. 
I don't want to sell beast yet. Okay. I thought about putting Pudge in, but I figured the extra Hunter might give us a little more of an edge. I would like to win streak if I can. Oh, Beastmaster didn't get his wild axes off. That's not good. Oh no! That went really poorly. Come on. Come on, Wind Ranger. Carry us. She might actually carry us to the dub. And she did. Good job. Good job, Wind Ranger. No point re-rolling here. We have Drow. Let's check contention. Let's double check here. Uncontested. 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 Uncon minor contention. Okay. Nope, nope, nope. 15. It's an awkward number. I'm going to take one roll. Ah, see? As much as I would like to roll here, having Legion Commander there and only blacklisting four. We have two here, two here. It's worth it. Let's go. Yes. Okay. Because I had multiple units begging to be two-starred, I decided it was beneficial to uh, to do that roll there. Might actually give Desolator to the Wind Ranger. I like her added attack speed. Actually, you know what? I think it's fine. But ironically, these like the teams we're against aren't casting spells very often right now. So, you know what? I've not tried. Maybe we stay at two Heartless and we try to go six Hunters and Vigilant. It's a little greedy because I usually I usually run uh, I usually run Druids. With them, because I like the uh, it's a it's a really nice balance. But it's been like, it's funny because that build for some time was like so broken. It's it's like that's that's actually one of my favorite things about being like you know creating YouTube videos and stuff like that. Like, I came up with a cool build, and I uh, I made a video about it. I made multiple videos about it, showcasing the build of the week, and then that build became like a meta defining build. And like I was like, man, I did that. And then I got like destroyed by the build over and over again as I tried to do other builds and like experiment and entertain. <laughs> so I ultimately paid the price. I ultimately paid the price. But. So I'm holding on to Luna because she is a vigilant. But ultimately, I wonder if I even play her at all. And I've been baited into that three star Luna so many times. Never successful, always baited. Oh no. Damn it. So no one's really going brawnies. That guy looks like he might want to. No brawnies right now. So the need for voids is kind of... A lot of summoners? What is happening right now? This guy's definitely going spirits. Let's take our free roll. Yeah, we'll take our free roll here. We'll hold Luna. Look at this bench, just waiting to two-star guys. I would re-roll here, but I, mean, I don't want to level either. We lost. If we hadn't lost that not that last round, I'd be uh, I'd be leveling and pushing for win streak. So did this guy? Oh, he didn't get the. Uh, he got a two-star tusk, but not in time. You know what? I think leaving the attack speed's fine on Wind Ranger. There it is. There's that Desolator effect. There we go. A very straightforward win. Good job. Good job, team. Good work. The losses we've had have been awkward. They've kind of split us up in a weird way. We haven't been able to streak properly. Take Dragon Lance. We'll do this. We'll do this. Put her back. Gotta wait. Gotta wait. Now, here's the thing I don't think I actually run Weaver long term. But if I can get Weaver to get us to six Hunters, I will. Also, do I get Antlers and then give it to Lifestealer? That would be kind of interesting. Antlers on life, so I don't do that very often. Obviously, uh, you know, Mask of Madness is ideal on him. Oh, and this is bad. 
Damn Bloodseekers. You have a pike? No, he's got a cloak. So we got trucked. We got trucked by the uh, Bloodbound build, which is fine. It's not fine. I'm actually pretty upset about it, but whatever. Let's check contention again. Let's double check. Let's see what's going on here. We're off to a decent start. So Wind Ranger is now being contested. This guy is thinking about moving hunters, maybe. How's Luna doing? No one's going Luna. What is happening in this game? So this two-star uh, Drow Ranger is kind of feeding this guy's thought of going Heartless Hunter. So I need to punish him a bit. Did he win or lose? W lose, lose, lose. God oh, damn it, he won. He won by a lot, too. Can't have that. Come on, game. We need some uh, some two stars here. Not what we want. Enthrall is ideal. Not what we want. Decent and decent. We take Eno. In this circumstance, we take Eno because of the heartless synergy there. Oh, beauty. Beauty. Okay, we take that. That's helpful. That's helpful as well. He's in. We switch a ruse. She's out. Back here. And we wait. And we wait. Let's try not to lose. I think we can level next, though. We should. We should. Because we want to we wanna start pulling... Uh, we want to get our chances up from Marana. Can't get her yet. We need to pull a couple... Uh, couple more uh, levels here. Get that stun, Eno. Oh, he's silenced! Now he's unsilenced. There we go. There we go. Well done, team. Well done. Desolate, my friends. Desolate. There it is. And that's the guy that we needed to be. We needed to send a message to that guy. And we kind of did. Terrorblade next in. Really frustrating RNG so far. It hasn't been awful. I think that right now we're in a good we're in good shape because no one's really contesting us yet. But yeah, this guy's going towards straight up heartless. I think he's oh. He might get three star drow. You gotta be kidding me, man. Gotta be kidding me. That's the best I can muster. Okay, wild axe is across. Let's go, let's go. Oh, he's facing the wrong way. Good, good, good. Here we go. Delete that nature's profit. There we go. Okay, good, good, good. Yes, this is going well. Good job, team. This is exactly what we need. And he down as well. 10 damage. We need to be trucking these guys. We need to be trucking these guys. I think we need to level. We need to try and pull Marana. If we pull Marana, we can go six hunters. I'm holding on to Lifestealer right now. It's not really the time for Lifestealer, but... We got a level next round. How's Pudge doing? So Pudge is being contested, so I'm not going to chase that three star. So we're not even going to grab him. We might do a take a roll here though. Let's go. Okay, that is good. We'll put him in. Now, under most circumstances, Weaver's actually a pretty good sol uh, choice for the um, the Desolator, but not in this build, not with Vigilance. The nice thing about Weaver, much like Dota 2, he is very hard to take down. He's like Storm Spirit, where he's like usually like one of the last people to die in a fight. Storm Spirit, he's always it's always great having a good item on Storm Spirit because he's just alive. Like, Radiance on someone like Weaver actually does a ton of work. Good. Another good win. Oh, boom shakalaka! He's on fire! Things are going well for us, and I'm going to take this level. Let's do it. We take the level, and just perhaps, look at that bug, perhaps with that 5% chance, we pull our Marana. How fantastic would that be? How about a two-star Terrorblade? That'd be great, too. God, take the antlers. Gotta take the antlers. Who gets it? You get it. Whoa! He, did he just give up? This is a ranked game, man! Did you just give up, Golden? Come on now. I know sometimes the games just don't go our way. I respect that. I really do. He's gotta go in. We've got six hunters. We've got ourselves six hunters. And of course, we have a, um, a pudge with antlers. 
Let's see Pudge do some work here. He's got 100 damage. It's his attack rate that's really slow. I want to see him double attack. Oh, there it is. It's actually... Listen, round 13, six hunters is actually kind of cool. It's, it's pretty early. But I think he might... No, we might win. We might get him. We do have him. Yes. You have been desolated. Do we beat this guy? Oh, no. Star Trubasa can still beat us. Ah, this guy beat us up last time, too. He's going bloodbound. He's feeding the beast over here. He's got the cap, too. He's all in on bloodbound, but he's going to lose strength. Or he's going to be a huge problem. He's going to truck me. We'll find out. We will find out. I don't really... I'm not going to chase Weaver. Weaver's probably uncontested. Actually, Broodmother, no Weaver there. What? So, like, we have minor contention there. So, some, so one guy is contesting us. He's dropping down a bit. We'll level next round. I'm not chasing the Weaver. You know, I'm going to hold on to the Weaver because why not? Okay. Oh, no, we walked into that Delta. No, we're going to lose this. Good swap by Terrorblade. I don't think it's going to be enough. Oh, no. 10 damage. So RNG was really punishing to us there. We walked right into that. Considering we are corner comped, that is rough. We could corner, con corner comp even more. Have him come late, switch late. Okay, we'll try it. We'll try it. We'll have Terribly come in late, switch late. Another Weaver. Take the level. Sell off the Weavers. Get him in. Give him this. Okay. It's a shame I can't put Dragon Lance on the Terror Blade. Like knowing that he's gonna switch, I don't think he needs it though. I don't think he needs it. Also, he's dead. Let's go crazy. Not very effective in that build. I don't know about that. If you're blowing up that fast, let's go crazy is not gonna help you, friend. It's not gonna help you. So far, things are going well. We can chase three star beast. Not chasing the tie. Uh, we gotta wait till he's eliminated, and then we can chase Drow and uh, he's going double Drow Ranger. No contention on terribly content. Oh, okay, you're out. She's in. Antlers here. Switcheroo. Okay. It pains me not taking that Lone Druid. I usually do. The Lone Druid is the kind of unit I take in these circumstances. Oh, look at this. This Bloodbound guy. And look at what he's doing. Absolutely clowning us. That was embarrassing. This guy absolutely trucked us. Okay, you got it. Blood, bloodbound, somewhat oppressive. Not as oppressive as Brawny's, to be honest with you. But Bloodbound can be... When it gets going, this guy's clearly in first place. Like, he's holding it. He's holding it. Do I take another Antlers? How greedy is that? Do I just do it? No, Silver's Edge is too good. I gotta take Silver's Edge. I have to. I take it. Because if I get Marana, it's a great item for Marana. It's actually a good item on Wind Ranger right now. I could Dragon Lance him. <laughs> I've never Dragonlance Weaver before. There's a first time for everything. Let's do it. Might even push to level 8 next round there. Have our chance for our, our friendly Medusa. Come on, Luna. Make us proud. The other antlers could have been good, but I don't even know if I'm going to end up running Lifestealer. Like, we're kind of short. I might sell them. If I pull a if I pull a mask of madness, I'll keep him. If I don't pull mask of madness, I'm probably getting rid of him. Come on, come on, nice stun. Good job, team. Good job. Can we beat this guy or what? 
All right, he beat us again, but not by much. He beat us, but not by much. That's important to understand. We know where we are, and every time you see a ghost, your ghost playing, you got to pay attention because you want to know what chance you got. So we're breaking. We are. I should have paid attention to how the dragon, uh, dragon lance affected our friend Weaver here. Should have paid more attention to that. I wasn't really paying attention. Okay, Abaddon's actually kind of interesting here. I usually do run Abaddon in these builds. Let's take Abba. Let's sell life. I don't think I saw life steal yet. It's gonna. It's gonna cost us money. Life stealer's gonna cost us money, but it's okay. No, he's not. I ended up buying Abaddon anyway. Never mind. And we're taking Luna. My spidey sense is tingling. Why? I kind of feel like I, I, I missed a Luna. I don't know if I actually did or not. If I did, I'm sure you guys will let me know. But my spidey sense is like, Alex, you might have missed a Luna. But maybe I'm always now like... I'm kind of like always like wondering if I'm making silly mistakes. Oh, look at this! No! No. This guy again? Damn it. That's the one thing, like, I know, like, making videos and, like, if I, like, for instance, when I, if I miss Luna and, like, I didn't even realize it, like, I, I end, end up finishing this game, get third, second, first, whatever, and I'm like, yes, good game. It was a good game. The people are going to love it. And then, like, you guys notice a mistake that I didn't even notice I made. And I'm like, oh, no, I'm bad. I'm still bad. Yeah, I am still bad. Actually, on my stream, I, we had a discussion. I was wondering, I can't, I'm having trouble deciding, am I a really good bad player? Or I'm a, or am I a bad good player? I'm not sure. I'm not sure, and I think I do deserve the qualifying statement. <laughs> I think I deserve the question mark. Is what I'm saying. Also, I wonder if I should probably put the attack speed on terribly. It's a little disgenuous. I need to give him like a moon shard or something. We got to get terribly to moon shard. He does so much damage, but like, I, Weaver, the way he closes fights, I might, you know what? Beastmaster did a ton of work too. You know what? No, no. I'm going to keep it the way it is. I'm going to keep it how it is. I, I, as much as I like Terrorblade, I feel like perhaps, maybe I got it right right now. I actually kind of like Faceless. Not because I need Voids, because I don't. But because he can lock guys down while we continue to smack him. I'm gonna hold faceless for a sec while I think. There's TA. Double TA. No, okay, no faceless. No faceless. We go double TA. TA comes in. Hmm. Okay, we'll leave it like this. Oh, look. They're coming back for more. Of course they're coming back for more. This life steal, I don't know if I actually end up running life steal. We got full vigilant. We could run best available. I might actually get rid of him. Get rid of him and Abaddon. We pick up like an axe. If we pick up like axe, I'll take that. Why wouldn't you run axe? Just run axe in this build. Let him tank the front line. Give you give you a little more sustain. Allow your DPS to do their DPS. We're going to get him. That's it. That's it. Just getting his head drop, drop the fail there. Good job, team. Way to go. The five armor reduction is worth it, though. It's worth it. But I'd have to be level ten. By that point, like I'm definitely playing an axe. I actually don't mind a fusel here. No, I agreed roll for Moonshard. Diffusal's good. Moonshard. Okay, Cadence, Butterfly. I'm going to take Butterfly. It's the item for Terribly. Butterfly's the correct item for Terribly. Double Neck. Just thinking, Beastmaster still so uncontested, 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 contested, contested, very contested. Okay. So 
So I'm not seeing... Okay, this guy smashed us last time. But I think... So he's got... Oh my gosh, that was a horrible Delta Slam. For once, the Delta Slam RNG is in my favor. But still, I think he's going to get us. Because these spirits are nowhere to get him. He's on fire. Sometimes. I don't know, just feels good, man. Just feels good, man. All right, so because of the situation down there, with regards to... we Okay, we need him to get knocked out. 17 health, how's he doing? Okay, he's he's close. Okay, we take that. I might actually get rid of her. Do this. The Vigilants that have Vigilant are fine. We'll do this. Grape, Deso, Butterfly. Butterfly's in the right spot. Dragon Lance this. Him like this. Okay. And we level next round. Okay, we got it. We got it. Come on, we can beat this guy. We've got a good lineup here. This is a very good lineup. Three star Broodmother. What a beauty with a Silver's Edge too. That's actually great. Come on. Oh, he's trucking us. He's gonna beat us. No way. And look at all his. The health is slow, but not low enough. What's that ball of whatever? 18 damage. Wow. Oh, and he won too. We're falling apart now. This is where we fall apart. Okay, we're done with Life Stealer. Are we done with the the uh, Heartless here? What do we do? There's Axe. We're done. Look at this guy. Look at these guys. We're done. We're done with Heartless. We're staying at four. Two. Wind Ranger, Axe, roll. One more, come on. Damn it. Okay, it's okay, it's okay. You're not gonna catch me crying yet. Soon, not yet. Come on, we can do this. This is a game that we can win. This is our game to win. Okay, this is the Bloodbound guy. He's starting to fall off a bit. He's having a hard time. I told you, I warned you guys about that. Bloodbound does lose strength. And look, he's still a good build. It's still a good design, but look, now he's getting trucked. That's why I tell you, I keep saying it. Don't go cap. It's bait. It's bait. This guy had a good game and now he's punching his keyboard, trying to figure out what's happening. It's because Bloodbound just does not transition into the late game unless... Is he running Luna? He's not because Luna's uncontested. Cap on Luna, right? Cap, actually Cap on Warlord's not bad, but you need like a Moon Shard for Warlord. You need the attack speed for Warlord. Oh, the, the gold changed there. It's because I had the other guy selected. Damn it, now I just gotta roll down. Come on, game. Help me out. Damn it. Okay. We need him to get eliminated. Just keep him there. Okay. We've got Bronies. Oh, yeah, Bronies. 18 kills. Actually, 18 kills already. Oh, it's because of the Beastmaster. Oh, it's this guy again. He gave us a beating last time, and now we got Axe. I don't think it's going to help very much. Oh, it helped, apparently. Get that, oh, get that brood. Yes. Oh, I know why they're glowing, because the, the spiders are invincible when Broodmother is three stars. Yes. Also, big win there. Give the crew a hand. Yes. And no one's doing, like, crazy damage. It's just consistent good damage. Consistent good damage. I'll take that all day long. Look at this Beastmaster. How annoying is that? How annoying is that? I'm the only one going Beastmaster. It has to be Vlad's, right? It has to be Vlad's. I have no other choice. It has to be Vlad's. So what I might do is this. Vlad's. Deso. Deso. Do this. Okay. Hate you, Beastmaster. I literally hate you, Beastmaster. Absolute garbage. Absolute unmitigated filth. Absolute dumpster fire unit. Literally lighting a garbage can on fire. That is what playing Beastmaster feels like right now. Oh, we just got destroyed by that there. 
Okay, we are in trouble. This guy's got a lot of three stars. There's the stuns. At least minimize his damage. We need a little more value. Oh! Get him! Get him! Oh! Yes! I'll take that. I'll take that all day long. Bloodbound guy's out. I told you. Oh, he's out. What? He's out. I have access to those hunters. Okay, I gotta roll hard. But I also don't want to blow my economy. What do I do? Roll. Let's go. Yes. Yes. Enemies. We gotta roll down. We gotta roll down. Ready to hunt. Knowledge and power. Was a little slow there. Could have kept rolling. Caught it. Didn't help my economy either way. But I definitely wanted to think the items through there. I think Silver's Edge on TA is a good call. This guy has a good lineup. He's got the uh, the Thunder back there as well. Vlad's is helping. Vlad's is helping. We're gonna get him. We're gonna get him. Yes. We're into third place, and we just beat second place? I think we can do this. I think we can do this. Now, here's the thing. Do I try and get to 10? No, I think I got... Look at this. Begging for three stars here. We got to roll. Faceless, I love you, but not today. Medusa. Weaver's gone. No! No, I meant to grab Wind Ranger! No, the positioning's so wrong! Oh, the positioning's horrible, and there's Marana. The positioning is so wrong there. That's not what I wanted. That's not what I wanted at all. She needs to be closer, or Stone Gaze doesn't activate enough. Come on. Stone Gaze! Yes, we got lucky with that. We got lucky they stepped into it. It's not enough, though. That positioning was so wrong. But it's okay. This guy's lineup is so damn strong. We gotta pull three stars here. Okay, now we're facing elimination. We gotta do something. Sagan and I will join you. Come on. Oh, I missed a terrible blade. I missed a Marana too. Forget Marana now. There are many secrets in White Spire, and I will find Come on, I'm looking for Wind Ranger. I tried to- I hit the cell button, I don't think I, I lost a unit. Who did I lose? I lost Pudge. Who cares? Okay, Pudge is gone. I hit the button and it just didn't do anything. I, I wanna go back and- I wanna go back and I wanna see. Damn it, he's gonna beat us again! We never got the Wind Ranger! But is this elimination? It's close. It's close! It is, he's eliminating us right here. 17 damage, we're done. 19, good job! You know what? Maybe that's why my cell didn't count. <laughs> I don't know. I hit it. I hit the button. It didn't sell in time, but whatever. We weren't going to win anyway. We didn't pull the Wind Ranger like I was hoping. Guys, thank you so much for watching, and a very special thank you to all of my wonderful subscribers. Take care, everyone, and have yourselves an absolutely wonderful day.